This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Pasok po natin sa panahon ng kwaresma, muli ang paanyaya ng ating siban, sariwain ang ginawa ng Diyos para sa kanyang sambaynan, para sa ating mga makasalanan. Ang tindi ng kanyang pagmamahal na siyang dapat nating ikatuwa. May mga pusong nagpapasalamat. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Where God is, there is love. For God is love. At ang kanyang paanyaya sa kanyang sampainan that we too become people of love. As we celebrate today, Valentine's Day, sa ating mga Kristiyano muling itatanong, tayo mga iniligtas sa pag-ibig, tayo mga niligtas sa pag-ibig, tayo mga tumanggap ng spirito ng pag-ibig. Do we live a life of love? Sa mga pagkakataong hindi, we today ask the Lord's forgiveness. God have mercy on us. 
forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Grant Almighty God to the yearly observances of Holy Lent that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. As the Israelites offer God the fruits of the land as thanksgiving, they profess publicly the saving acts God had done on their behalf. Lent is the time to recall the Lord Jesus' suffering on our behalf. Our first reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, The priest shall receive the basket from you, and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord your God, my father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But there he became a nation, great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. He brought us out of Egypt with a strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders. And bringing us into this country, he gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you the first fruits of the products of the soil which you, O Lord, have given me. And having said them before the Lord your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Be with me, Lord, when I 
In our second reading, the Apostle Paul exhorts us to place our faith and confidence in the Lord Jesus, who suffered and died and was raised from the dead for our salvation. Our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what does Scripture say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith that we preach. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. For the scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the desert for 40 days to be tempted by the devil. He ate nothing during those days, and, and when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live on bread alone. Then the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a single instant. The devil said to him, I shall give you all this power and glory, for it has been handed over to me and I may give it to whomever I wish. Or this will be yours if you will worship me. Jesus said to him in reply, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil led him to Jerusalem, made him stand in the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here, For it is written, He will command His angels concerning you to guard you. With their hands they will support you, lest your feet, you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him in reply, It also says, You shall put the Lord your God, you shall not put the Lord your God 
to the test. When the devil had finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kaninang umaga po sa table ay pinag-uusapan natin, namin yung Gospel reading sa ngayon. Ganda naman ng senior sa amin ni Father Domi Guzman. Ang sabi niya ay pag tinignan natin yung tatlong readings, this time the readings really weave into each other. Nag-iisa ang tema. Sa unang pagbasa, we hear Moses speak to his people in the book of the Deuteronomy. At dito sa aklat na ito, sinasabi that Moses was giving them certain final instructions. Bagay na hindi dapat nila makakalimutan. Na pag sila'y tinatanong kung sino ba sila bilang isang sambayanan, they will have to tell a story. It is the story of a former people who was oppressed, of a people that was definitely not free, of a people under the yoke of the Egyptians. And then one day Yahweh came, and they had to cross from that, and cross the Red Sea into the land of promise. They have to think of what they call the Passover. Mula sa isang dating buhay ng pagiging alipin sa buhay ng mga of a people who have been set free. Isang sambayan ng malaya, isang sambayan ng pinili. From nothing to a lot of blessings in the land promised them to be flowing with milk. And honey. Huwag yung kalimutan na ito'y nangyari sa inyo na kayo isang sambayanan who have passed over from slavery to freedom. From a land, from a land of nothing to a land flowing with milk and honey. Pass over. At sa konteksto pong yan, pinasok ni St. Paul ang ating ikalawang pagbasa. At para kay St. Paul, yung kanyang sulat to the Romans actually is, could be called the Gospel of St. Paul. At ito po ang kanyang sinabi. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. St. Paul tells us of another Passover, that of Jesus. Ang kanyang proclamation at ang ating paniniwala, eto, tunay na si Kristo inangkin ang kahinaan ng tao. He died a terrible death, but that did not end his life. It would actually mean that by his dying and by his rising again, there was another Passover from sin to holiness. From being a people lost to a people saved. But because of Jesus, from death to new life. At sa sino mang naniniwala na itong anak ng Diyos ay tunay na para sa ating nagpakumbaba, dapat din sa kanyang maniwala na tayo iniangat naman upang maging bagong sambayanan. Sambayan ng malaya katulad ng mga Israelita sa lumang tipan, sambayanan to worship the living God. My dear friends, in the Gospel reading of today, we see Jesus going into the desert. Ang galing ng paggagawa ng, ng, ng Ibanghelyo. He was led into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Para sa kanila, ang disyerto was the place of the devil. Teritoryo yun ng kalaban. Pumasok doon si Kristo at inangkin ang lahat ng pagiging tao. He even permitted himself to be tempted by the temptations we all will be tempted. At ano po yun? Nang naandun siya, pinayagan niya sarili na dumanas ng kahinaan ng tao. Yung magutom. To face with a lack of material things. To face with the possibility that totoo, the devil will come in and tempt him, and make material things more important. If you would like, o talagang Diyos ka, turn this stone into bread. Ang ganda ng kanyang prescription, sagot sa mga dumadaan sa ganong klaseng hirap ng kakulangan. 
Not by bread alone does man live. Hey, dear friends, pag oras ng pera, pag oras ng mga bagay na material, pag oras ng bagay ng pangmundo ay naging mas mahalaga kaysa sa salita ng Diyos o sa Diyos, then we have really, we're going to have a mess of a life. When we many times forget the giver and instead concentrate on the gifts, when ang naging sobrang mas mahalaga tinahabol natin ay yung yaman at pera at nakakalimutan ang Diyos ng pagpapala o ang kadahilanan kung bakit tayo nabibless. Ba't ka nabibless? Upang maging blessing. Ito, ito sasabihin ko na sa inyo kahit may, mayroong tatamaan. Umuwi po ako ng Iliilo last Wednesday. Eh siyempre, pag ganyang umuwi ka at gagamit ka ng naiya 3, naiya 2, naiya 1, kaagad isipin mo, nako patay, taatrapikin ako rito. Kailang maagang maaga. Kay kung dating isang oras, gawin mo ng dalawa. Kung pwede, gawin mo ng tatlo. Kasi minsan nangyari na yan sa akin at naikwento ko na. Ang malapit lang po kami sa Buendia, sa Bukana po ng Skyway. Sabi ko, pag ako'y nag-Skyway, it would take me 15 minutes, nandun na kaagad ako sa Resort World. Eh, one time ginawa ko ngayon, binigyan ko sarili ko ng one hour. Sobrang-sobra yun. Sa awa ng Diyos, 15 minutes, narating na namin yung Resort World. Ang pagbaba, nakikita ko na yung airport. Isang oras at kalahati. Talagang ang ta. Yung puwit ko nakaangat na doon sa aking inupuan. Kasi kung pwede lang lipa rin, eh, itulak yung sasakyan, ay eh, wala ka naman magagawa sa dami at sa tindi ng traffic. Hindi ko na inabot yung rotonda roon. Bumaba na sa sasakyan, tangan-tangan yung aking maleta, hala, takbuhang walang, walang, uh, talay, nagmamadali ka kasi alam mo, humahangos ka nang dumating, ayaw ko nang maulit. Kaya ang ginawa ko, talagang inagahan ko, sa awan ng Diyos, hindi masyadong matandi ang traffic. So nakarating kami ng maayos, one hour before, nandun na ako sa check-in, nakapasok ako ng matiwasay, at siyempre, nagantay na ako sa boarding area. Nang malapit na yung aming pagboboard, eto na ang announcement. We would like to inform passengers of flight so and so, that and that, that due to your delay of the return flight, your, your plane flight, your flight is going to be delayed by one hour. O di siyempre, gusto mo nang mambaril ng tao. You know? Kasi nagmamadali ka. Wala, akong, wala ka namang magagawa. So, ang ginawa mo, bumili ako ng kape. Ala ko ano-ano, naghanap ka na ng magagawa mo. Pagkatapos, another announcement. We would like to inform you that your flight is further delayed by another half hour. Gusto mo mang magwala, alam mong wala ka magagawa. Pero siyempre, lahat ng tao doon nag-aaburuto na. Pagkatapos, finally, your flight, your plane has arrived. You will have to go and stay at uh, uh, gate 133 for your boarding. O di, okay. Nakaandun na kami sa 133. Sa awan ng Diyos, pagkatapos ng another 30 minutes, nag-announce. For us, sa mga passengers of flight, ganito, your gate has been changed. Go to gate, ganito. Can you imagine yung takbuhan ng mga tao? Kasi dalawang oras ka ng halos gustong-gusto mo nang sumakay. At biglang sasabihin ka yung gate na iba. Ano gagawin mo? Hindi ka naman makapagreklamo. Pero syempre gusto mo mauna. Nakukita mo yung parang ekang may raling takbuhan ng mga tao doon sa gate. Eh medyo napalapit ako doon sa gate na yon. Kaya ang ginawa ko, nagtatakbo ko at nauna ako. Pagdating ko, walang tao. So, sabi ko doon sa inyo, sinong in charge dito? Tinawag ko sa Hoy, ayusin mo na kami. Kasi pag dumagsa kaming lahat, mamumroblema kayo kung paano kami aayusin. Parang di ako pinakinggan. At talagang nag, 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 nagalit na ako. Mamumroblema kang malaki ka ako. So, ginawa niya. O sige, inayos. So, inayos kami ng ganon. O di, nakapurante ako. Ten persons away ako doon sa entrance nung sasakyan. Nakatayo ko. At least ka ako. Nagantay pa kami ng another 20 minutes. Bakit ka ako sinabi ka agad? Di sinabi na lang nung kami paalis na sana para dere-derecho sa gate. And then the wonderful announcement came. 
the para sa flight na ganito, change gate, go to another gate. No? Ay, talagang kung, ka, kung kaharap ko yung tao, nahambalos ko talaga sana. Can you imagine? Eh, ako isang trolley lang ang dala ko. Paano kung may tatlo kang anak? Paano kung may mga matanda kang kasama? Paano kung yung iba ay may kapansanan? Takbuhan na naman kami sa another gate. Ay, talagang, alam mo, I have to calm myself. Mario, kalma. Kalma. Kasi kako, tataas lang blood pressure mo rito. Wala namang mangyayari. Sabi ko, ano to pinaglalaroan kami? Ano ba kako to? Na parang wala na silang pakundang. Hindi man ang inisip yung sitwasyon ng mga pasahero. Kahit na sabihin nyo, nagmura kayo ng presyo. But please, do not treat us like this. So finally, nakasakay kami sa aeroplano. Eto na ngayon. Nakasakay na kami. Mag-aantay na. Biglag yung announce ang piloto. Good morning, everybody. We would like to sincerely apologize. No, sabi ko, another na naman to. Na po ay po number five sa pag-aantay dahil may ibang aeroplanong lilipad pa. Another one hour. Three hours coming delayed. Pero ang sobra kong ikinagalit ay eto, nang kami mag-take off na, biglang nag-announce. Kasi, nakaredy na kami mag-take off, hindi ka naman makaihi at ipinagbabawal. Naghahanap ako ng bote sa loob ng, ng ano, ay wala akong mahanap. You know? Ay pinagbabawal. Sabi ko, terrible naman. Dapat alam na nila na pwede pa kung in case of emergency. Then, sabi, take off na. Etong sinabi ng stewardess. We would like to sincerely apologize. The delay is beyond our control. Talagang umusok yung tenga ko. Eh sino may control? Everybody's fault but not yours. Sa isang negosyong katulad nito, kung saan para naging mas mahalaga, ano bang problema? Sobrang dami nyo ng aeroplano? Sobrang booking ba kayo? Sobrang hindi maayos itong airport natin? Somebody has to be blamed. When we begin to go into a business where people's people's convenience is hurt, abay mag-isip-isip kayo, naging mas mahalaga ba ang pera kaysa sa konbinyente ng mga tao? Naging mas mahalaga ba ang yaman kaysa sa dapat pagsilbi, sa inyong dapat pagsilbihan? My dear friends, brothers and sisters, Jesus warns us about the money and business na walang katuturan, na walang pakundang, na walang uh, uh, that sense of knowing your business is first the service. Jesus also warns us today against power. As the devil brings him and shows him all the powers and the glory of the world, the invitation was, worship me and you have all this. Do not insult God by coming up with other gods. Do not insult Him by making more important His gifts than the giver of the gifts. Do not insult Him by using all of these for their own sakes and not for what you can do for people. Power, money, glory, all these are instruments that we may give God the glory, the honor, and the praise. At yan ang sinasabi natin sa bawat misa. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Jesus was finally brought to the parapet of the temple and He was asked, Jump! Kung talagang Diyos ka, magpakitang gilas ka. Gawin mong isang spectacular, yung nakaka-impress, yung gawin yung parabagang everybody would be stupefied. God does not deal that way. He lives in the simpleness of in the simpleness of things. He did not choose to be king. He chose to be a carpenter. He did not want to be born in a palace. He was born in a stable. He did not choose the big time, the connected, and the who's who. Nang siya pumili na mga pagsisilbi at tutulong sa kanya. He chose an educated, ordinary fisherman. The style of God is to be simple, not to be spectacular. Jesus was left by the devil in the desert. But the temptations will come back. On the cross, he was asked the same. Kung tunay kang Diyos, get down of the cross. 
Stay away from the pain. Pagpakitang gilas ka, wipe them out. But Jesus did not do that. He embraced our weaknesses and humanity and our whole humanity nang sa ganoy tayo maiangat sa isang pamamaraan kung saan ang magiging batas natin ay ang batas ng pag-ibig na handang magsilpe. As we today celebrate Valentine's Day, think of the real love that Jesus shows us at the cross. Love that serves. Love that understands. Love that cares. Love that does need not keep a record of wrong. A love that does not show, is not pompous or humbug. A love that truly loves because we have been first loved by this God. Make your Valentine's Day a beautiful one today. Make it a loving service of those whom you care. Amen. Tayo po'y magsitayo. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, like Jesus, who was tempted in the desert, let us now ask the Lord to accompany us in the various temptations in life, so that we will always overcome them in a special way. We lift up to God the Father our needs and the petitions for the particular needs of Filipino migrants everywhere. With confidence in His grace, we pray, Lord, Strengthen us with your love. Lord, strengthen us with your love. The church leaders continue to be committed in their concern for the poor, especially among the migrants and their families. We pray. Lord, Lord strengthen, strengthen us, us with, with your love. That civil leaders will do their best to serve the people entrusted to them, mindful also of their responsibility to take care of the migrants and their families, we pray. Lord, strengthen, strengthen us, us with your love. That the Lord continuously accompany all overseas Filipino workers as they work and live in foreign lands, especially in moments when they are tempted to abandon their religious and cultural values, we pray. Lord, strengthen us with your love. That Filipino workers who have been abused, exploited, and suffering from all forms of unjust treatments in their moments of abandonment and loneliness, be sustained and comforted, we pray. Lord, strengthen us with your love. That the celebration of the Eucharist be a source of strength and security for families left behind by overseas workers who now sleep peacefully in God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, strengthen us with your love. We pray for the intentions of Oscar Fernando Pimping, the repose of the souls of Victor Panizales, Annabel Evarola, Lourdes San Agustin. We pray for the healing of Terry Baliton. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, strengthen us with your love. God, our Father, pour upon us all the graces we most need especially for our migrant brothers and sisters who continue to seek your comfort and your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing as our gifts are presented to the altar.
pray, my dear friend, that your sacrifice and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right dispositions, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we acclaim. Fount of a holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. To this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamakita ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos Ama, makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang To God we give back the honor, the glory, and the praise. And as we pray for our needs, we first pray the important prayer that is in the Our Father. That His name be hallowed, that His kingdom may come. We pray the Our Father. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Though Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. True peace can only come when God is first in our lives. We share with each other the peace that comes from Him. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
This is Jesus, our true and lasting treasure, the God who brings us from death to life, the God who comes to bring us from slavery to freedom. Happy are we who come to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. God and God of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us for receive him. Amen. Amen. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
the uh, Cardinal of the Archdiocese of Manila, is asking us to make concrete our love and our care para po sa sampayanan ng Diyos. We will now do a second collection para po sa alay kapwa. Ito isang pamamaraan upang ipadama natin sa Panginoon na hindi pera o yaman ang pinakamahalaga, kundi na tayo'y magiging after being blessed, become God's blessing for others. So we will now do a second collection. And when we are, while we are doing that, gusto ko lang pong i-announce na yung ating community, the Acts Catholic Prayer Community, that has been handling itong ating television mass, but who, which also every Wednesday gathers dito po sa ating uh, <clears throat> Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord, will celebrate its fourth year anniversary this coming February 17. Yan po at 7 p.m. So yung mga dating members po ng Acts Catholic Prayer Community, inanyayahan po namin kayo to be present para po sa celebration of the Mass para sa ating fourth year anniversary. Dito po sa chapel na ito. At next week naman po sa February 24, magbibigay po ng talk ang isang aming talagang hinahangaan a brother Chito Hongko who truly has a transformed life. A life na dating isang humahawak sa kapangyarihan, kahit na sa droga, aaminin niya yan, at sa, uh, sa tawag ng laman, but was become truly a soldier of Christ. Siya po ay magsasalita sa February 24 about falling madly in love with God. At talagang makikita nyo sa buhay niya na titong si Brother Chito Hongko is truly a soldier now of God. That is going to be next week po, not this week, uh, February 24 at 7 p.m. Grabe ang witness ng buhay ng taong ito. If you're interested to listen to him, come and see how this man has transformed himself by God's grace to truly becoming a soldier of God. Siya po ay major sa SAFTA, Special Action Force. Tatay na, uncle niya, kapatid niya, general, and now he serves only God. Let us pray. Father in heaven, may the bountiful blessing we pray come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, Virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you and remain with you always. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today ay araw ng puso. Pusong nagmamahal, pusong nagsisilbi. Puso na nakakaalam that only in God can we truly find our meaning. Pakibati muna yung iyong katabi ng Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! Go in the peace and love of the Lord of love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Awitin natin ang sabay-sabay. Walang sino man ang para sa sarili lamang. Walang sino man para sa sarili lamang. Tayo lahat. Tayo lahat. Kapiling niya sa ating tayo ay magdadala ng balita ng kaligtasan tayo lahat Ayun lang. 
God. Sabay-sabay. 